Hello and welcome to a new episode of Funder 360 English. Today we are going to discuss about five investment strategies for beginners to get started with your stock market journey. If you want to start investing in stock market, you should have a clear understanding of stocks and shares. One of the most effective strategies to achieve financial independence is to use the correct investment strategy. The greatest investment options can basically improve your financial health, whether they serve as a complement to your normal income such as a, a salary or some business income etc etc but additional savings this will the share market income can act as an additional saving for retirement or a strategy to pay off your existing debts even like a car loan or education loan or etc etc so today we are going to discuss about basically five, just small five tips that will be helpful for any of the beginner level stock market investors. So stay tuned, keep watching. The first point is you have to establish your goals. When it comes to investing in stocks or shares, you should have a long term goals that can extremely beneficial for you. So setting a long term objectives that will help you better grasp the value of saving whether you want to save for your own retirement or for your child's education or to buy a home or for any other purpose like your kids marriage or even to buy a holiday home somewhere there in Kudu, Manali or Oti somewhere else. So the quality of money invested or the duration of the investment and also the net annual earnings on the capital will all influence the growth of your investment portfolio. So it is recommended that you start investing as soon as possible because it can help you to save a decent amount of money. So the next point to consider while you frame your investment strategy is the level of risk that you can afford. So before you invest your money, you should carefully consider the level of risk connected with the investment option you choose. So you have to conduct a complete analysis of various schemes. That's the best approach to detect the dangers or the risk connected with various investment options. This will allow you to determine the level of risk associated with each product and allocate your funds accordingly. So understanding the level of risk associated with investing that will assist you in avoid instruments that can result in a huge loss or at least you can invest balancedly. For example, if you invest in penny stocks, that will give you more returns but the risk is higher. But at the same time, you can allocate certain amount of funds in your portfolio for penny stocks and certain amount of funds for large cap stocks. That way you can balance the risk of your portfolio. Even to consider the uncertainty of uh, stock markets, you can hedge to some extent by buying gold or SGB or anything like that. So make it a balanced portfolio based on the level of risk that you can afford. The third factor is you have to study the investment modules in the case of stock market you have to learn it well then only you have to jump into it so a newcomer in the stock market he should obviously study the essentials including more securities that how it makes up the market and what are the factors that affects the stock market all those things you have to rigorously learn then only you have to jump into the stock market apart from that you have to understand what are the order types, financial definitions, other terminologies that are located that are associated with stock market. Else, sometimes even placing an order itself that may bring you a lot of pain as well as losses initially. Another factor you have to consider is the investment diversification. So stock diversification that is typically done by professional investors after they have completed all of the necessary research to classify and evaluate the risk associated with their investment options. So as a beginner, if you are a beginner, on the other hand, that will help you to get some expertise in the stock market before diversifying the investments. So diversifying exposure is one of the most popular risk management strategies. If you buy stocks from five different firms and five, five different sectors, 
in that case you can't expect all the prices will give you a lot of returns but on the other hand you will get a return or a cumulative return steadily so diversify your portfolio always the last but the most important factor if you jump into stock market is your emotional control so controlling your emotion is one of the most important aspects of stock market investment whether you are in stock market investment investor or a trader this is very important the price of a share that reflects market attitude towards that particular company because emotions are the primary motivator of behavior it is very critical to thoroughly examine all the considerations before making a final decision make sure that your decisions are not based on emotions but based on the facts as well as the numbers so there are a variety of investment options available uh, that will suit practically for any level of risk or commitment or even for any sort of timing also so understanding your personal uh, taste or personal preferences and financial position that is the key of determining the best plan for you for the what all things we have discussed now so following these guidelines that will help you to obtain a solid understanding of stock market and invest your money in assets that will allow you to achieve a long term goal in your life so thanks for watching see you in the next episode till then bye from my own